Now on Rio Ferdinand's injury, which has ruled the England captain out of the World Cup, orthopaedic surgery specialist Sean Curry is here. Good morning, thank you for joining us. So the morning. England squad seemed beset with knee problems. Is that just a coincidence? I think it is, to be honest. Um, last, last World Cup it was feet and metatarsals, and this time it's knees. I don't think it's uh, uh, anything uh, over and above what you'd normally expect as part of the game. And how surprised are you that he has done so much damage, Rio Ferdinand this is, to his knee in training? I'm sure that the players all play as hard as they possibly can. They're all looking for a, a place. Whilst he was assured of, of getting a place, being the captain, um, they would have been playing seriously and training hard. And, and I think it's, it's a natural consequence of, of you know, trying to do your best. We hear so often now that people have knee problems, they get sorted out with keyhole surgery. Is this something that just can't simply be done that way? I, uh, from what I know, uh, this is an injury that will heal without surgery uh, and it's just a matter of time and unfortunately it's exactly the wrong time for Rio. Now obviously they're tight for time with this, this championship just about to start but presumably he'd have a better prognosis in terms of recovery than most your, your average patient. He's a, he's a highly trained sportsman. Absolutely. I, I, this isn't, um, again from the information that I have, this isn't a, a career ending injury. Um, it, it is expected that in four to six weeks he'll start training again and he should be ready for the start of next season. Unfortunately not for the World Cup. And so what would his recovery involve, do you think? Uh, to start off with, he'll, he'll just be resting it, icing it uh, and, and letting the pain and, and uh, swelling settle down. And then as it gets more comfortable, he'll start straight line movements uh, and uh, uh, increase that. Uh, such that he's ready, you know, in about six weeks to, to resume normal training. And I'm sure he'll probably take the best advice from the people around him, but will there be a temptation, is there a temptation amongst sports, sports men and women to, to get back up on that, that, that bad knee before they should, perhaps? There's always a pressure to play, and uh, I'm sure that he will take advice. Often with sportsmen, you have to hold them back and, and make sure that the, the, the injury is fully healed before you, before you start training in earnest. And what about the, the rest of the problems with the England squad? Do, do you think there's uh, maybe a need for a specialist on the, on the side, really, a knee specialist to be there on, on pitch? Um, the England squad, are, um, they have a very good uh, sports physician involved and uh, I'm sure that that will... Uh, he is very good at uh, dealing with the injuries and uh, deciding what appropriate action is required. I don't think... I mean. The, a knee surgeon, for instance, would, wouldn't be performing operations there. I, I don't think that would add anything over and above what they already have. OK, orthopaedic surgery specialist Sean Curry, thank you very much for that. Thank you.